Alright guys, welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Hope you guys got your banana shakes ready in hand. I know I do. Because uh, we're going to be going uh, over to Funky Flights. And he's going to get us a flight over to the next uh, area of the island that we need to. Whoa, dudes. My name is Funky Kong. My bodacious jumbo barrel can warp you anywhere most unfortunately it can only send you to a place you've already been before which is a complete and total bummer let me tell you all right so go ahead and hop in his thing and let's go to monkey mines we got winky's walkway here and we shall go um i ha i have to tell you guys that uh today I'm actually recording this like two days after I recorded <laughs> the other one, which is really weird. I, I, for side LPs, I try to record like uh, once a week, and oh my goodness, I fail at getting the winky thingy. Anyway, so the reason why I'm recording it right now is because I've had an epiphany. Yeah, that's right, an epiphany. Don't you? dare doubt me. And uh, the epiphany I had, um, yeah, last episode I was talking about, you know what, Diddy? Come here. I want you. You're a better jumper and climber and whatnot. Um, the epiphany I had, uh, last re recording session I was talking about, uh, I think I said something about, uh, Donkey Kong, the old game. Uh, back on the NES and whatnot, and how uh, Mario went after uh, Donkey Kong and their enemies and whatnot. Um, the question is, the, the epiphany I had is, who was the actual aggressor? And I'll let you guys uh, ponder on that. Was it Donkey Kong? Or was it Mario? I will tell you my little theory on that a little bit later on in the video uh... there's two ways to complete this level though uh, there's this way warp trick warps it right to the very end of the level oh yeah see you later kremlings lizard folk but what fun is completing a level like that? Even though it says we've done it 100%. Because the exclamation point is uh, up there saying... Uh, if you have, get an exclamation point, it's... Means you 100% level found every single one of the... Uh, bonuses and all that. But the... So I'm just gonna come in here and show you the second way. The funnest way. Uh, I also said that I was, I was showing you my favorite type of level in this part. Uh, this is my favorite type of level, the mine carts. Oh yeah. Why? Because it's really fast paced and uh, holy crap, there I go dying. Hopefully I'll be able to get this. Oh well, whatever, I have unlimited um, time mode on anyway. Uh, I sh probably shouldn't even be recording it, uh, right this moment, because, uh, number one, it's really late, and I'm kind of really tired, which, uh, is, could be either really good or really bad. Uh, really good because, uh, usually for some odd reason, my commentary, uh, improves when I'm really tired. Don't ask me why, and there I go killing myself yet again. Can I try the- can I- I'll try to give it one more try. If I don't reach the halfway point this go around, I will just continue onward to the next level and say screw it. But yeah, it could be uh really bad as well with me being sleep deprived or whatever. Um, because I could just fall asleep right in the middle of the recording and just sit there and die a million times. There we go, finally make the jump. There, halfway barrel. Okay. Now this is where things start to actually get tricky. They, uh, die. No, they don't die. They add obstacles in your way. 
such as uh, broken mine carts that you have to jump over like you saw before. They also add enemies on the track as well. They are very, very annoying. And they come at you very, very fast too, like that. Hello. So you have to be like on your knees and uh, on your knees, on your toes. That's what's. That's the 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 saying that I want to say is uh, on your toes, because if you're not on your toes, yeah, you could die very easily on these kind of levels. And that's why I like them is because you have to sit here and be on your toes and be alert and sit here and jump all the time and avoid mine cars and avoid the Kremlings. One last one and we are out of here. Alright, so yeah, that's how you defeat that's how you beat it both ways. I just kind of wanted to show that saying woohoo both ways. The cheap way you could take really really fast. Or what the crap are you doing, Donkey Kong? Do you like Diddy's butt or something? I know he's your uh, sidekick, but I didn't know he was uh, that kind of sidekick. No more of that from you, Donkey Kong. Oh, no. And this little trick right here, I didn't know this until today. Um, come on. You get a rhino guy there, and the person I learned that from... Bloody meow. Yes. I was watching your LP of this and it was very fun. I like it. I like it a lot. But anyway, enough about that. I uh, asked you guys a question earlier on in this episode of who do you think the aggressor was? Oh, poo, diddy, why must you uh, be all sad and stomp your head on the ground. Yeah, who the aggressor was between uh, between Donkey Kong and Mario in the old NES game Donkey Kong. My theory is is that it was a, a total misunderstanding between Mario and Donkey Kong. The reason why I think it was a big huge misunderstanding. I think Mario went on one of his uh, famous vacations that he always ta seems to take. It seems to every single game that Mario is in, it's just like, oh, vacation time. Yeah, he has to have a lot of vacations for a fat Italian plumber. Apparently he, ha he has a lot of dough and business is very, very good for him. Otherwise, whatever. And so he was on a vacation to a tropical hot spot. Yeah, and uh, he, being the fat Italian plumber that he is, uh, decided to go, Hey, I am hungry. I need to grab something to eat. And so he uh, finds the first thing that he, or he eats the first thing that he finds, which is a pile of bananas. He's just like, oh, these bananas are out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I'm famished. I want to eat them. And so he eats them, kind of thinking that, you know, they're out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody has claimed to them, has laid claim to them anyway. And Donkey Kong comes along and sees him eating his bananas. And uh, they're part of Donkey Kong's banana horde. And so Donkey Kong, uh, fire please starts to ch attack Mario and chase him down and be like, give me back my bananas, you crazy person, you crazy Italian plumber. Is that all? Anyway. And, uh, yeah, he runs into, Mario runs away from Donkey Kong and somehow, uh, the princess gets thrown into it and Donkey Kong is just like, hey! Grabs the, grabs the princess and, uh, you know, climbs up to a whole bunch of stuff and starts throwing barrels at Mario. And that's basically how I figure it to have gone down. And, oh, well, if you think about it, Donkey Kong, he... I, I'm sorry, Donkey Kong, but I have to say this. You're not the brightest bulb in the pack, dude. 
And, uh, yeah. All you have to do is sit down and lounge around all day, gathering bananas. Actually, not gathering bananas, but having Diddy go around and uh, making you banana milkshakes all the time. Be like, hey, Diddy, go fetch me this, you personal gopher. And so, I, th I think Donkey Kong is more of the gentle type, unless you get him mad. And uh, when you get him mad, he stays mad for the longest time. And so, that's how I view Donkey Kong. And I believe this rivalry between Donkey Kong and Mario is still ongoing, even though it's a misunderstanding, you know, with with uh, games that Donkey Kong and Mario have uh, been in together, you have like a uh, Mario Kart, and oh my goodness, I am f not doing too well, but uh, yeah, you got Mario Kart, and you got all the sports games like the Mario Tennis and the Mario Golf. And, uh, basically, ever since the beginning of time, uh, Donkey Kong and Mario have been at each other's throats, sitting there fighting each other, so. Anyway, that's my take on the whole entire situation between Donkey Kong and Mario. You guys can, uh, agree with me or not, uh, if you would like to... To share your opinions on it, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I I, I would love to see what other people would, th what other people think concerning that subject and all that. So yeah. Whoa, hello. I don't want to go over this way. I want to go over this way because there is a bonus room, bonus level. Yay! Okay, we want you. You shall be ours, K. Okay. And, uh, yeah, this is basically the first temple level, I guess you say, ruins and whatnot, which we will see a whole lot more of uh, later on. It's it's also one of my favorite uh, types of levels, not my most favorite, my most favorite being the minecart level you saw earlier. And, uh, yeah, Rare is seriously full of themselves in this game. Because we got to spell Rare. Yeah, there's, uh, certain bonus levels that you spell random words. There's a bonus level further on that where you have to spell Nintendo. And which I probably will be showing, because if I remember... Oh, boo, I wanted to keep that TNT barrel, you stupid... This is for what your brother did to me. There's a bonus r thing right here that I wanted with the TNT barrel. Stupid evil Kremlings, you. But anyway, we shall fly across those Kremlings, grab the uh, midpoint barrel, and find our way out of here. Hello, snakies. You shall die by the feet of Diddy Kong. Fear Diddy Kong. Yeah, I kind of went over uh, what I was wanting to say in this episode. Re well, not really quickly. It's just, you know, I said what I figured on. Ow. Winky, come back here, you crazy frog, you. I wanted you for something, and it was to get those bananas. You could I've gotten those bananas before without Winky. I'm just tr not going to try because... Yeah, I don't want to redo that level. Anyway, we have another Cranky's Cabin. Hey, Cranky, what's up? At last, somebody to chat with. I've gotten more gameplay in my little finger than you've got in this whole game. I doubt that, good sir. You know what they say, all graphics and no gameplay. Yes, Halo people, he's talking to you. Anyway... At 32 meg, be more than 30 games back in my day. Hey, what 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 would that be in uh, today's terms? You got a uh, well, 
we'll just go ahead and talk Nintendo games real quick. Um, you know, with the uh, Donkey Kong Returns, holy crap, uh, Neki, why are you throwing those at, at us? Anyway, with uh, Donkey Kong Returns, probably gonna have like four gigabytes of uh, storage, if not more. We'll just be generous and say four gigabytes because it's a whoa, hello, come down here and fight like you're the bird you are. Anyway, so you go four gigabytes, and if you had a game for every 32 megabytes that you have, I did the math, that is 128 games. Seriously, peeps. And uh, Neki's down for the count, and we gets us a banana. Oh, banana. Yes, uh, you shall die by the paws, by the hands of Diddy Kong and his wrath of being the assistant to Donkey Kong because he doesn't want to go out and uh, go on an adventure. He wants to go home and have fun and all that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part in the last part. Hope you ha I gave you some good things, fun things to talk about. Where's the save point? Right there. Yes. And I hope you guys have a fun day. Wherever you are, fun evening, fun night, um, whatever it is for you, and I shall see you guys later. This is UT Young for this signing off.